In this video, we'll talk about mouse listener. So to demonstrate mouse listener, let me create a class called as XYZ. And since we, we, can, we can create events on a J frame, so we'll take, we'll say extends, it is J frame. In this J frame, uh, in this class, let me go with a uh, public constructor. So we'll say public XYZ. Now let's say uh, I need a J frame. So what, what we can do is we can simply write those uh, blocks or codes. So those codes, uh -oh, it's not swing demo, it is swing code tab. So this is what we have created in our code templates. Okay. So this is, these are the four lines you need to write every time you work with your J frames. Now, once you, when, once you define a main function here, so let's say it's a main function. In this main function, I will create object of XYZ. So it says XYZ uh, OBJ equal to new XYZ. And now if I run this code, the output will be, the output you will see here is a J frame, right? Now, what I want to do now, wherever I click, if I click here, it should pick up a position. So let's say if this location is 0, 0, and this is 400, 400, so this should be 100, 100 somewhere here. If I click here, I should get an output as a, on this console called as 100, 100. Now, how to achieve that? First, we need to add a listener to your mouse because whenever you click here, it should listen to your event. Now, when you say you want to listen, that means we need to add a listener. And how to add a listener? We have to say add, we need to add a mouse listener. So we'll say add mouse listener. You can see it asks you for a mouse listener object. So let's go here. And if I say new mouse listener, okay, and we can define, uh oh, now you can see, uh, let me do one thing. Let me just give the constructor and a bracket. If you go to this mouse listener, you can see it has lots of methods. It has mouse clicked, it has mouse pressed, it has mouse released, mouse entered and mouse exited. Now the only method what I need here is mouse press, right? Now to do that, we cannot use mouse listeners because if you use mouse listener, you have to implement all the methods. We need only one method. So instead of using mouse listener, we'll use something called as mouse adapter. So again, mouse adapter is a class in, it's an interface in Java which let's let's go to mouse listener okay it's an abstract class in which uh, it has implemented all the interfaces and you can see we have mouse click mouse release so instead of uh, declaring instead of def implementing we'll just override that method so in if you use mouse adapter so we have to work with only one method the method you want to wish to work with and the only method i want to work here is mouse public void it is mouse pressed and this mouse pressed uh, method will ask you for object of it is mouse uh, oh yeah it is mouse event and we'll say it is e simple so we'll say import the package now every time you click this mouse pressed will call and it will uh, it will execute this method called as mouse pressed and we need to print the value so we'll say int x value, x value will be the x position of your pointer. So we'll say e dot get x and we'll say int y equal to e dot get y. So using a, using get x will get the x value, using get y will get the y value. And we'll just print the value, we'll say x, then in plus we'll say double quotes, comma, plus y. Now if you print this, the output you'll be getting is uh, x value comma y value we can also use some space here now the, the thing I'm doing here is I'm taking a J frame in that J frame I, I'm adding a listener using add mouse listener it will ask you for object of mouse listener you can use an object of mouse adapter and you can override any any method you want so we are using here mouse pressed now if I, if I run this if I say run so let's click here so if I click here somewhere, it should be 100. Yeah, so I'm always near, it is 9,500, let's say, somewhere here. Okay, I'm almost near, here. And here, so this is 100, 100, right? And this position will be 400, 400, and this will be 0, 0. 
So this is how you need to work with your mouse listener. 